welcome back. Coming up, I visit Indigenous Dance School, Naista. Then me and my girl Emma Donovan take a stroll through the hood, Redfern. But right now, it's time to speak out with storytellers, Message Stick. Mika, you're hurting that rock. Don't you know everything to Aboriginal people has a soul and a spirit? Yeah, right. Like what? Even this stick? <gasps> oh! <laughs> Did, Did you get, get that, that message? message? <laughs> ABC's Message Stick is the Indigenous People's leading TV program broadcast weekly into living rooms throughout Australia. So how does it work and what is it doing for our Indigenous brothers and sisters? Let's find out. Hello, I'm Miriam Korowa. Welcome to Message Deck. New Zealand meet producer and presenter for Message Deck, Miriam Korowa. Malalei Miriam. Now can you tell us what is Message Deck? Message Stick is a nationally broadcast program on ABC television which focuses on Indigenous issues. It's been on air for about 11 years now, so we're the longest running team in Indigenous production in television in Australia. How important do you think Message Stick is to Aboriginal people across Australia? Well, I mean, I know for myself when the Indigenous unit first started here at the ABC years and years and years ago and I was a kid and I saw my first black face on TV hosting a program and I was like, oh my God, that is possible. It still plants the seed of the idea that, hey, I can do that too, you know? It's, it's seeing people in all walks of life represented on a powerful medium like TV and that's what inspires people and gives you the idea, okay, yeah, that's something that I might be able to give a go, you know? Yeah. What relevance does Mission Stick have to non-Aboriginal people? Well, uh, Indigenous people are the history of this country. I don't think any person, you know, whether they're born here, arrive here, can afford to ignore that, you know, we are an integral part of who Australia is. And um, I think there's a huge future out there for all Australians to come together. Indigenous Australians are one of the most disadvantaged populations on the face of the earth, and we need the help of every single Australian to help bring us forward so that we can, you know, have a standard of life that anybody would want to have. Do you think that Message Stick helps break down some of those stereotype barriers? Oh, definitely. And it's largely because people are resistant to the idea of, you know, Indigenous Australians not necessarily looking how you would expect an Indigenous person to look. Of course, in Message Stick, you get to see all different kinds of people in all walks of life. Do you think it's important that your people's stories are being told by an Aboriginal person? I do think that is an important thing. I mean, there is a place for non-Indigenous people to be involved in all of this as well, but there's so much history and background to what's happened to Indigenous Australians since colonisation. If you're coming into it as a non-Indigenous person, then you don't necessarily understand what it means to be stolen generations or, you know, what it means to have your language taken from you. So I find that, yeah, Indigenous producers, directors, filmmakers, there's something unique that they can tap into that other, others may not even know is there. How early did you begin to speak their language? Well, my first word was yokai, which means wacker. That's mm -hmm. what I remember. Dang, dang, and nanga, walanga, walanga, dang, dang, and nanga, nanga, yokai! Is Rama all right? Oh, she's she, shaking all over. She doesn't care <laughs> for it. Well, this is it. This is where it all comes together. A lot of it actually happens out in the field or upstairs in the office um, where we've got a lot of planning going on. You know, um, with a half hour, you'll have a week in the office locking in interviews, a week usually to shoot, then you come back, you work on it for two weeks before you go into edit for two weeks, and then a week in post-production. Is it part of your vision as a producer to have more Indigenous people enter this industry? Yeah, definitely. I have to be honest, you know, I think Indigenous peoples, we have such a strong oral tradition. Yeah. You know, we're great storytellers, so we need places like Message Dick and the ABC to play their part in ensuring that there is a future for Indigenous people in the media. What do you think is your point of difference as an Indigenous storyteller? Making the story about that person and not about what I think the story is. I tend to um, operate with the perspective that you know, I, I need to hear from the people who I'm meeting and, and interviewing and filming and, 
and they need to guide me, yeah. not the other way around. Mm. Well, that's part of our upbringing as Indigenous people, I guess, as well. That's how we learn. Yes. Got to listen to your elders. What do you see as the future for Indigenous television in this country? We're hoping to have more programs across all the different channels. Not just message stick, but you know, comedy, drama, you know, or, or music, um, art. We are rich and beautiful and diverse as a community here in Australia, and we would love to see that reflected on our screens. Cool. Well, thank you very much, Miriam, for reminding us the importance of hearing our stories, telling our stories, and just having a voice. We'll see you later. See ya. Hey, it's prize time! To be in to win this Rabbitohs t-shirt and this Emma Donovan single right here, all you gotta do is log on to our website, upload a YouTube of you or your crew busting out a few Indigenous moves. Best video wins. Now coming up after the break, singer Emma Donovan. And contemporary Indigenous dance with Naista. Hit it, Dave! Woo!